Ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome back to Poland 2024, where we just watched an incredible game between the Germans. I'm not going to try to pronounce. We're going to call them W D L I D. I think yes. I don't remember. And uh, and Mandem, they played an incredible game. But now, I think my name, of course, being Wandem Meerkat's here with me as well. We've got another one lined up. This is ro lower bracket round one between Barmkov, Boogie, and Nandem this time around. Absolutely, it's definitely going to be a challenge to beat that last game. But, you know, we're up in the levels now. It's day two. People are warm. People are, are ready to, to, to get moving. These are both teams now. They've been dropped down to the lower bracket, of course. Nandem, they finished fifth. So, so they've got no choice but to have played in the lower bracket. And they're looking to make their mark, try and climb their way up. Or maybe just have a little bit of fun and go out with a bang. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, these are some of the fun games that lower bracket you get. Where sort of the lower tier teams of each group sort of end up playing in these kind of life or death game. Obviously, the game that we just saw. The Germans ended up down in the lower bracket, right? Where these guys are already. They are yeah. now fighting officially for their tournament lives. And um, I think that adds, or it does just add, a lot of stakes to, yeah. this, uh, to this game. Yeah, especially when you've got, when you've got the repetition of seven rounds back to back to back yesterday. You can uh, sort of, you make it work, you can, you can take a loss. But this, this is where it gets really quite meaty. So we have a bit of a map veto. We can show on screen really, really quickly because, because I do see them readying, readying up, up as well. <laughs> so we are playing Process Bagel and then maybe eventually Sunshine. But we should just be rolling out right here for the lower bracket round one of Poland Winter 2024. We are in the playoffs. Nandem versus Matt Barmkov Boogie. We're on to middle straight away. Luca Enderman shooting stickies across, finding a scout. Yeah, he's getting a really good smattery of early damage and the double soldier bomb coming from Asian and Blank. They don't manage to pull too much off, but they have got a lot of damage onto those Varmkov players and they are going to have to run for the hills, but they're getting swept up like nobody's business. Yeah, this is a clean start of a mid for the side of Nandem, only losing the two soldiers, but keeping Unforgiven alive. Omga on his own is stuck here in PC, trying to find maybe anything, but it's looking really, really hard. Instead, actually just being able to escape with his life intact, it's probably good enough for now, but this is a giant advantage here for Unforgiven. Nandem already on second, capping the point, and they're looking to push this with a huge add. Yeah, they really need to be trying to get a little bit of info here. That second cap is, of course, going over the line now. And they just need to get a bit of info. Identify where that sniper position is and see how they want to attack this last. They've got a 50% uber advantage here. QG is up on the sniper, but instantly backs off, goes to heavy. Instead, as the Uber's popped out. Now, gun taken down, and so is Impo, because Phoenix and Luca Enderman are straight in. And there we go. We tap right back into the game to find that actually blue players are falling as well. It's a three versus three at the moment. Phoenix can clean up one, but crucially there's heals still up for Nandem. And this scout has to run back to spawn. Phoenix not with the medic, but Luca Enderman finding a pipe. Who Chuji at the moment has to hit a 1v3, doesn't do it. Gets cleaned up and that's a round on the board. Fast stuff for Nandem. Yeah, that was pretty swish. That, that was really opened up early doors by that double bomb from Blank and Asian. And then Luca was really, really strong across all of those points. Stuck with his medic, got damage across every single fight and made it really, really hard for Varmkov to do anything about that. Yeah, this was hard stuff for Varmkov. They kind of, I think really, they honestly just lost it at the mid really hard to follow up on anything at all this time around. We're gonna have to see maybe that early soldier aggression from Nandem countered a little bit more because Blank and Adrian really just opened up the entire round. Back on this mid, you can see the early bomb coming in once again from Blank, taking the enemy pack and just promoting a slower mid. No one really going forward yet. Everyone's kind of feeling each other out so far. It's Agent bombing across here onto the medic. Decent oh. damage onto Tendon, but gets shut down in the air. But a nice shot by Sweeney there. The rest oh, of the wow. team cleaned up a Rentry with a shot of his own. And that's Nandem losing a mid fight. Varmkov Bookie responding right back. Yeah, that was so much damage onto those Varmkov players, but didn't manage to capitalize on any of the frags. So uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out for them. So uh, back on their last now is going to be Nandem Varmkov looking to charge as far forward as they possibly can. Yeah, Vamkov now have a lot of space made, but look at this, there's a bit of an advantage here for Unforgiven, Ooh. and that prompts Hello. the rest of Nandem to try to go out. They're fighting some frags. It's Blank getting two. An early cleanup kill onto Agent is completely fine because they've got the kill onto Info. Now, look at Tendon. He just about gets the Uber charge right now, but you can see Nandem, they want to go straight Ooh. into mid. Is it Uber trade and choke instead? Yeah, Not. both, both scouts battling it out. Of course, they're, they're just try, sort of throwing things at each other, but with those invincible players, it, it does become a little bit of a trick. Um, but they seem to have made a little bit of ground here and then, but losing blank is not going to help that. That's a lot of their high ground presence gone, particularly with their HP on Agent as well. 
yeah, they just have to back right out here. Instead, now losing Phoenix as well. This should prompt Barmkov to push forwards here through this choke point, looking out to sort of cement themselves as an actual real-life Prem team and not one of these Nandem teams that kind of play together. Pretty sure they actually did play last season as well. Yes. They did, but not in Premiership. No, they came second in Div 1. So they're effectively not Premiership. No. Arentia is bombing in, and he's doing a lot of damage. But look at this. Tendon falls to a bomb out of Agent. Now it's just chaos on both sides. But Unforgiven has stayed alive. 90% Uber charge is going to be feeling fine. They're walking into lobby. We are seesawing Ubers. Yeah, I mean, they're going to hope to, to, to push this forward and, and, and hopefully cling on to that until they get, at the very least, onto that mid. Um, and hopefully, by as much time as possible, Tendon only just now starting to heal up. Uh, so Unfor with a real chunky Uber advantage. QG up on the sniper. He's going to be looking in through choke. See if he can maybe find anything. The soldier's peeking around. You can see this is a really difficult Ooh. angle. One soldier bombing forwards, trying to make space for the rest of the team. But QG has to peek forward here. Sees players, but he's Ooh. looking for the demo. Shoots him. Needle through the eye of the needle there. Gets it done. And now the soldier's back off as well. That's a demo down. And suddenly this overcharge advantage for Unforgiven is still the case. But this trade could be favorable for Varmkov. Instead, they're losing Sweeney. And that should prompt the end of the aggression. This sniper makes it a lot harder for them to push. Instead, we're in sewer. Trying to make more space for the sniper. Yeah, that was one hell of a momentum shift. All of these players are dying uh, around Varmkov, and Tender just has to try and run away with Huji and, uh, you know, wait for their spawners to come in and try and make something out of nothing here. Trying to make something out of nothing is the soldiers bombing in, but it's Huji with a body shot drop onto Unforgiven. Uber's cancelled out, and now Blank Falls as well. Scouts on point, taking a lot of damage. Attendant has not had to pop this Uber at all. Phoenix tries to save the round for his team, but unfortunately it just goes down. Soldier in, now is Agent, but has to back out immediately. The health does not there, and Osvaldo's up on Engineer. On at last, and Varmcon Boogie, they still have a sniper, but they have a ginormous advantage to work with. Absolutely here. They're still waiting for Phoenix to spawn on the side and then they have got a little bit of time to fortify their defenses. So this huge e sniper isn't going to help them too much in trying to get a nice quick push into this last, but time is very much on their side. Still 70% advantage ahead. The sniper could slow down the momentum of this push, but it's coming in anyway. Impo finding a sentry gun, but the counter headshot from Phoenix onto him takes down the demo immediately. That's so much damage missing. Tendon falls as well. They get the kill onto Unforgiven. That's about all they can do at the end of the day. Huge. Yeah, that was a very well-placed heavy there. Managed to sweep up absolutely everybody uh, that was left. This has been a real shift in momentum. And you see, <laughs> like, trying to get as far forward as possible. Oh, I think this no. might be a bit of a feed. Yeah, that's so sad. Unfortunately, there's just a demo there to assist his sniper. And Huchi <laughs> lives on 13 <laughs> HP. He's still on the sniper. I'm surprised he hasn't gone into spawn and changed off of it. I guess he must just be feeling himself. I know he is partial to a bit of sniper. Saw him in the intro video hitting some shots last season. A lot of talk about Huji, I've heard from a lot of the players. They really, I've, I've heard some of the bigger names. Pappy really likes this guy as well. Some, He's uh, an up-and-comer. Big praise, yes. I mean, that, 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 is, that is high praise. But it, it seems to, that he wants to really make a name for himself uh, and try and prove himself on this sniper class, see what he can achieve. Um, but we are seeing a, a little bit of a stalemate. It looks like they are anticipating an, a, a high bomb there uh, from Nandem, trying to get onto the, uh, their medic, potentially, as they're just waiting for the Uber charges to come up on both sides. This shot requires a lightning fast, right, lightning fast reflexes. Flank, of course, showcasing. He owns a taunt instead now, Huji. <laughs> I think a slightly different angle here. You can sort of get up off. Yeah, he's, 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 he, he's he can get up onto it eventually. Uh, uh, after the previous conversation, that, that's not great. Oh, Ooh. Blank. Oh. Doesn't quite find the rocket on to Impo. Instead now, it is just a dead scout for the side of Armcom Boogie. Not the end of the world here for them as they should be able to still hold but you can see now Nandem are starting to shift they have to deal with this huge on sniper the soldier bombs in Ooh. agent taken down in the air from stickies and that shuts down the aggression instantly for the side of Nandem having to walk back onto second and you can see Huji now he's edging in onto Sua he's looking for a better angle yeah this is a dangerous position for him to be in uh, for the side of uh, Nandem uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to get anything that he wants. Sweeney does go down with that aggression, trying to uh, make make a little bit of space with the soldiers down on the side and them. The Uber's forced out, though. Onto Unforgiven there. It's a soldier bombing in, getting that force. Now, Sweeney and Renche are both down, but it's such a big advantage for Tendon. And he can just kind of keep walking forward. Huji still on Sniper. And uh, uh, he's had time to walk back. 
You know, I, I know he's denying a lot of angles, um, b but they are very, very aware of what he's trying to achieve there. So Nandem uh, are able to react a little bit better, but Varmkover making it work. You know, they've managed to capitalize, what, three points with this with this sniper in hand? Now it is the Uber ad push into last as well. You can see Huji electing to go roll out Osvaldo on the counter snipe, and Uber comes straight in and up onto top. Unfortunately, Impo not finding the immediate frags. It's a body shot kill onto Phoenix. Sanju gonna take him down, but so is Arentria. The heavy is just in spawn and not eating that much damage. Instead, it's the rest of the team being cleaned up. The heavy walking forwards gets a kill onto the demo, but now it's just Luca Enderman. Unforgiven is 95%, but he's not on the point. And that's a round on the board as Varmkov Boogie are equaling our score. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't as comfortable as it quite could have been. That, that Uber charge came in. Uh, they, they got lots of early damage, but the follow-up just wasn't quite there. But, of course, they had time. They had the heals. They had the attrition, and they managed to get that over the line with, with three players still up. Now, back on to a mid-fight we go. Game has been equalized, but we only have 20 minutes left instead of 30. See? Osvaldo there in the beginning, just going spy, making sure this sniper out of QG is <laughs> yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd get slightly angsty uh, <laughs> to, to see what their approach would be. Arentura eating a pipe there, having to go in and take his pack in his own sewers. To slow down the middle a little bit, you can see that Instead, it is Sweeney bombing across. We're kind of swapping sides here, honestly. But it's a lot of damage onto Unforgiven. And he's just po poked out there by Osvaldo and Omga from the rest of his team. They find Tendon in the end, do Nandem. And it is such a weird, chaotic fight here. Blank, the only one left for his team. Decent little rocket there onto a Rentry. Nice stuff. Gonna have to find a few more. Doesn't hit the one on to Omga. Instead, he cleans up. And it is a mid fight victory for Varmkov. But Unforgiven's up first. Doesn't really matter though, no teammates to heal. No, no, absolutely. You may as well just have had the latest spawn imaginable, but that was one hell of a scrappy mid. There were four fights going on individually from, from a bird's eye view, so I don't know how you could decide which one would be best to watch, but uh, see Nandem now, they're getting themselves on second, trying to build up the, the very small Uber deficit that they do have, but of course, using that high ground to their advantage, waiting to see what Varmkov want to do. Ball kind of in their court at the moment. It is basically even Ubers, effectively even Ubers. We are building on both sides. You can see them just kind of holding a Varmkov on middle, making sure no one gets in, no one gets out for the moment, as neither team willing to make the first move. Time I assume for a snipe and a sack. It's, you know, sack and a snipe. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> must happen eventually, surely. As soon as a little bit of boredom kicks in, I reckon yeah. 30 more seconds of this and, and it's going to be a feed, but it looks like Look Varmkov are posturing pretty close. Yeah, Sweeney as well, posturing around this choke. You can see him now going for that bomb. He's going and just bombing, fake bombing into Al-Qaeda and instead a Rentrier walking into PC. Gets Ooh. actually pretty He's far forwards, get the bomb across. Decent damage there onto the demo, but doesn't quite hit the rockets. Instead, it's Info going down. They get that one kill onto the demo, but this is a nice little trade here for Nandem. Three frags for them, and they can walk straight in onto middle. Yes, it's even Ubers, but they have so many more bodies. Yeah, that is really messy. Those extra two players really should not have been caught out there, and they're really paying the price here. Asians try to get a bit of a flank going, and the, both the Ubers are popped uh, from either team. Uh, but Varmkov in a very sticky situation, so weak and uh, missing a player still. It's Huji though, finding oh two frags, God. some crispy meat Never shots. Mind. Has the pistol as well, doesn't quite fight the follow up, but now the rest of his team is here. Agent falls down, Impo. Singular health point. Yeah. But look at the rest of this team, they're so low. Unforgiven is alive. Yeah, they had 150 HP between all of them there, which uh, doesn't make it too easy. You can't, you can't make too much ground um, on that account, but they were still very much a presence there. So um, Nandem back holding passively on their second and uh, sort of palming it off to Varmkov to make the next move. Varmkov now back on middle, Huji back on sniper. Once again, posturing through this choke point, looking for any stragglers, any players in this crosshair. It's 150 damage onto Phoenix. Black, <laughs> one <laughs> HP. That, that's, that's, not, one that, that's not too hot. <laughs> it is Phoenix actually getting taken down and the body shot onto Agent. This is two players down for the side of Nandem here. Varmkov Boogie should be springing to life. You can see them walking forwards, but they're holding on their own side of mid. They are scared of this Uber disad that they do have. And that means that Nandem, honestly, they're not too far back. Yes, they've kind of had to give up a little bit, but Huji's in PC. And he's uh, going to walk right back out. Soldier presents himself doesn't want it no no that's the thing is you, you you lose a lot of pace they had those two pick advantages but then they've got to rotate huji all the way over that point and try and get him in an advan advantageous position but that gives them nandem so much time to react to that huji has been sniping for a vast majority of the game Ooh, a soldier hello. 
presents himself. Gladly take that second one. The bombing in as well is Agent. Doesn't quite find. He sees a demo man in his sights though. But that is Huji. Doesn't quite hit the oh, headshot. Hits that one though. Now you have to watch out here. Does the rest of the team <laughs> because they're so low in one, all one HP, and they that, manage to get out. I mean that shotter was open for so long. <laughs> if, if only he had the machina and he did one fifty damage shot, that would Ooh. that would have been quite something. Uh, but yeah, the Huji trying to get a nice aggressive angle, nice early doors, trying to get potentially the final spawner from Nandem, um, and, and try and make uh, Varm Cobb's job push you into this last even easier. It is still an equal looper situation. Equal sniper situation as well. Phoenix up on the sniper as well for his team. Engineer as well for Osvaldo. We're going to be seeing a quite passive passive hold here as well. It's 15 ra minutes still left on that round board. Instead, blank again. Close range headshot. It is hugely hitting them. And look at how low Agent is. 6 HP. Yeah, Just barely amazing. survives. Tickle him. And Tickle he him. Dies. <laughs> that is two, three damage shots from across the map. That is, but of course, so hard to get that angle and actually get that over the line. So um, it looks like they're, they're holding reasonably aggressively um, as uh, they're waiting to uh, see the spawners come up from Varmkov here. Waiting, waiting, and waiting. Instead, yes, it is Yuji spy. on the Spi. We we'll have to see whether or not. Actually, yes, he is. But. I think Crucially, it may be anticipated. We have been spotted. Yes. Now Huji has to walk in knowing, and it's just a <laughs> sentry sap, yeah, but the yeah. soldiers come in and they just oh get the force. God. Sentry gun sap means it doesn't shoot anything, <laughs> and we're sacking in three for this Uber charge. But now the rest of Nandem stuck in their spawn is blank walking Ooh. forwards. Nice little rocket there onto Omga. The follow-up, can it come through instead? It's still five seconds for both soldiers on the side of Varmkov. And it looks like probably Nandem are taking this mid-fight. Yeah, I mean, losing those three players, as good as it was to get that force, they've lost a point for it. It makes it really, really sticky for them. Now, blank falling means that this supercharge advantage push can come right back in there for Barmkov Boogie. They're taking control of second, then they still have 50%. Phoenix up on the sniper. He's going to look over towards <laughs> there Ooh. as the Uber comes out straight in onto the sentry gun. Everyone There's else on this blue team are just stuck in spawn. So the point is half capped because Yimpo is soloing them in the door. And that is a round on the board now. 2 1 for Vamkov Boogie. Yeah, the, the demo was on one door, and every single player kept trying to chicken their way out of that door. It didn't work. Yimpo had it on lock, and yeah, that was only ever going to go one way. 2 1 to Vamkov. Nandem in disguise. Um, not doing too hot, um, but of course it still could be a very tight series. I've never seen these teams have a, a round difference of more than one, <laughs> so um, we'll have to see how things transpire. We'll have to see if this is the time the Varmkov can break free of Nandem. We're back onto mid here and it's blank being found immediately by Arentria and Impo combining getting those frags. Now instead bombing forwards and that means losing that soldier instantly. Nandem want nothing to do with that middle. No, absolutely not. It's just not worth it. You know that you're going to lose so many more and potentially risk losing your med as well. But Varmkov wants to keep charging forward, try and make it a decent, decent ground. But Nandem, of course, all over this high ground. Nandem are all over this high ground, all over Luca as he just falls down. Agent as well. The soldier wants to bomb in, try to some find something in return. Salvage this as Sweeney is taken down by Osvaldo, but he loses the one we want to Huji, bossing him around as the Uber comes out onto Phoenix, oh. finds a demo kill onto Impo, but that is still two scouts. Nandem has not popped as the Uber still hasn't come out, but now we're only two up. Arentria not there yet as it's just Huji running forwards against so many players, but the demo can hold him off and roll out. One soldier in a blank on second. Once this kill onto Tendon, Phoenix can follow it up. And this is a messy fight. Scrappy from Barmkov. It's just take too long. Yeah, I mean, that medic was stuck on 95% for so long. He managed to drop the demo man, obviously, because he, he, he couldn't have popped even if he wanted to. And uh, yeah, it made it really, really challenging losing those couple players. And uh, the momentum is definitely, definitely shifted as Barmkov recede back to their second. We're back on second, and Unforgiven has a 50% uber advantage. Huji is up on sniper through rollout, but I'm pretty sure, yep, they're pushing PC, as that is a demo man that is not shot down by the sniper. Instead, it's a sentry gun taking down Phoenix, <laughs> because it's in forward spawn. <laughs> that's the one time that, that's, that that sentry gun works, is when you don't anticipate them coming in through IT. That's, uh, that's really, really funny. So they are a man down. They're not going to be able to charge into last with quite the tenacity that they would hope for uh, as 
that the Ubers are looking to equalize in the next 5-10 seconds. The Uber comes out of one, however, on to Luca Enderman. The dispenser, crucial kill taken oh, down, no, but so drops. is Luca Enderman as now the counter Uber comes out and the blue team of Menandem are left running for the hills, is heavy on point. Trying to deny everyone else as Nandem are back in, out on to second. Soldier on top, and these are pipes aimed not really at him. I don't know. Here's the thing, right? You're a demo player. You're kind of shooting pipes kind of where people are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Blank, also dead. Best. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now even Ubers here, Tendon. Sitting at 10% disadvantage. We're still fighting this on second, by the way. We're down two soldiers on both sides. It's just going to be a scout 2v2. And I guess the demo's there as well. But you can see now Varmkov, they don't like their positioning that much. It's Nandam winning out that fight on second. And they're walking into the lobby here. They're pushing. They're still a soldier down for four seconds. Yeah, I mean, without without that second cap, it made it really, really hard for Nandem and they were, uh, sorry, Varkov, and they're pushed back to last, so looking to come in Nandem, they need to go over this point, it's soloed on the scout, he's trying to get up towards that left-hand side, a lot of damage coming in, but no frags and no cap time thus far. It is an Uber coming out and saving these desperately low health bars on the side of Armkov Gut Boogie. But thankfully, they're healthy enough to keep it in. Look at this. It's just a singular scout of Osvaldo and Phoenix walking forward. <laughs> but the pipes from Imbo are enough. Little celebratory shake to keep and celebrating that Ooh, hold is huge. Wow. Finding Unforgiven somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even know he must have been hiding in the, in, in the rattiest of the ratty spots imaginable. Um, so Varmkov, a nice easy push out onto second, but blank. a blank wants to try and go for a back cap. It, it's a risky move, Ooh. especially when that happens. He flubs the jump, and unfortunately there's a soldier there to greet him as well. Another one comes ah. in through, through sewers, and unfortunately, it's called lobby. Unfortunately, he just gets taken down. Now Phoenix is up on the sniper. He has his sights on a wall, and unfortunately will just walk back on to middle. Wait for now. Instead, Tendon, big advantage. They're walking through PC. Yeah, they were slowed down ever so slightly by Blank, but they are very much in the fray now. They've got a 40% Uber advantage, and they want to make their way in pretty quick, but Phoenix um, is a silent threat on that sniper. Uber comes in here onto Impo, not really finding too much so far. It's a very low soldier, but the kill onto Blank doesn't come through. They kind of pop their Uber to get in onto middle, but don't really find much of it. Now instead, Count Uber can come out for Unforgiven. Phoenix edging his way through choke. Does 50 Ooh. damage and a headshot to Omgar as well. Gets followed up with the rocket from Agent. Now, people moving across point is an absolute oh nuke my and God. choke from Great Sweeney. Bomb. Finding a massive bomb. Big rocket on to Huji there as well. But he manages to escape with his life. Uber, however, not popped by Unforgiven. They can still keep this going as well because Impo is so, so very low. They're still in choke. This is an Uber waiting for them. Huji, he's getting this kill, no? No. Oh my God, the pistol RNG. I mean, it, uh, you'd, you'd be tamping, wouldn't you? That, that, that yeah. is just something you cannot control, unfortunately. But um, they're on their second now, Varmkov. They have got bombs coming in uh, from Nandem, uh, trying to make a little bit of space, but quickly batted away uh, by Huji on top of uh, the point there. Blank now back on the middle, deciding not to go through sewers. We're back. It's even Ubers. But it is one round up here for Varmkov. Eight minutes left. Plenty of time for Nandem to figure something out. Currently walking in through sewers, sending a soldier, sacking in. Blank, unfortunately, not finding much of any damage. Only 90 damage on a soldier, which should be completely fine. We're back where we were. Instead, Arentria maybe looking beastly and probably just holding it. I think if you are Vamkov Boogie, not reason much of a reason to push ever. No, absolutely not. You, you, you don't need to take that risk and that liability. There's eight minutes left in the game. It's not comfortable for them by any means, um, but, but they, the time definitely on their side and uh, Nandem. Um, definitely need to try and uh, make something uh, happen out of nothing here and uh, uh, mix it up just a little bit. These pushes are falter uh, quite consistently here. They're sending in Black in behind onto Rollout so he can rebound forward! Oh, but Impo destroys him with the double pipe! Unfortunately for them as well, Tendon with a beautiful surf to match gets out into sewers with two picks. Now both soldiers dead. It's Huji going down though and it should stop the push for now. Yeah, I think I need to check my trousers after that one. But uh, yeah, that was one hell of a pipe there. Two soldiers now up for Nandem as well. And they want to come in as quickly as possible uh, with Huji still down. Equal Uber situation. Um, but they seem to be taking it slightly slower than they could be. We are slowing it down. Blank is actually really low in PC. Just gets taken down by the spam there from Sweeney. But in choke, meanwhile, an Uber just gets forced by Agent bombing through. You see the <laughs> counter bomb trying to come in. <laughs> and Retro as well. But everyone just falls. Both these soldiers are down. And this is a ginormous advantage here for Unforgiven.
yeah, they need to be charging forward here, Nandam. They can really make something happen out of this. This momentum shift is incredible if they can harness it right. They've got that 70% uber advantage. They need to be gunning for that last. It looks like that's exactly what they want to do with Luca uh, on that beam. Already taking down the sentry gun. Point about half capped as the pop finally comes through. It's 110 onto Huji, and they actually don't manage to find the scout kill, but it's just so much damage from the projectile classes. No control of the point, and Nandam with six minutes left to go, they're equaling us up to 2-2. I mean, we knew it could be anyone's game, and they these guys are keeping it tight. They're keeping us guessing every single time. The momentum is shifting so, so much. We're not seeing a team stuck on a point for very long at all. It's constant slip-ups, constant rap plays, these big bombs coming in from players like Blank. It seems to be uh, the sort of go-to strap for Nandem, just see what Blank can do and hope that he survives. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I can't fault it. This time around on mid, you can see the bar soldier in on the info six so low, and Blank just about manages to find so much damage, actually. Huji as well, eating a pipe, and they are all so very low on Bombcop Boogie, but they're still booking in. A Arentra dead as well. You can see Nandem are playing it so passively, making sure no further bombs can happen, but it's three kills for them, and now they can start streaming in through Joke. It's a soldier once again. Is Agent taken down by Huji, wanting to try and hold this on his own? Never mind. We're walking out. We're chilling. Yeah, priority very much on keeping Tendon alive there. They do not want to be t facing a last hold with an uber disadvantage. So playing it very, very safe here. Um, Nandem just waiting for Asian to spawn up. Then they can start taking lobby and try and fortify... Uh, sorry, d sorry, deny Varmkov's defenses. Denying Varmkov's defenses starts not by losing your scout. <laughs> Instead, it's Impo finding that kill. Blank as well tries to go up top but just gets taken down. And it looks like for now, the Nadam aggression has been thwarted there by Barmkov Boogie instead. Arentria peeking out. He's watching Luca shoot those stickies up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Guys. 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 <laughs> he watched him shoot them and he walked in anyway. He is the world's most confident player. I think that's <laughs> what you can deduce from that. <laughs> All right. Well, Osvaldo is giving the sniper a go. Has right now, it is a sticky kill onto Luca Enderman as well. Kills being <gasps> found, the angle was there. Scary stuff, but Blank unfortunately gets taken down as well. Now we're only two up for the side of Nanda. We popped an Uber somewhere as well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely not not a clue whatsoever, but um, they just try and keep Unforgiven alive. They are at a 60% disadvantage, which is really uh, not a good position to be in. Um, so momentum going the way of Varmkov. They are charging into this mid, and Nandem have nothing to say for it. Yeah, unfortunately, Nandem, they don't have an Uber or anything really to try and fight this. Instead, they're just going to have to respect the mid cap with three minutes and 50 seconds left in this game. It is the Uber coming straight in onto Impo, <laughs> but he gets juggled kind of weird there from the rocket, but it is Agent getting taken down. It could be a lot of damage from the demo, but instead it's Arintra taking down himself. Now the Uber not finding anything else means the repush from Nandem can come straight back out. Uber, pop, as there is a scout in behind and roll out. It's Yuji trying to make some magic happen. Never mind, it's Omga. I can't tell. Are they wearing the same hats? Or am I just blind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was really, really tricky there. The players were so far away from that beam uh, that once the, once the Uber was popped, they could not get any frags whatsoever. But they do manage to get that cap, um, but they have handed the advantage back to Varmkov. They are about 40% ahead here. Are ahead in Uber advantage. Not quite willing to make anything of it yet as Omgurt still running back from the respawn, but they're going to have to dot push this time. It's only a 20% add if they want to play off of it. It's still 2-2, so much to play for, and you can see the soldier, Sweeney, already posturing a little bit around Choke here, trying to figure out what is the move. Nadam as well, sitting far back. They know exactly who the target will be coming <laughs> in as Unforgiven gets the Uber, and I think we're stabilizing. Yeah, I mean, we, this is this is where we see the single sites going back and forth and, and then potentially pulling out of a sniper here as we have many, many, many times already on this map. It feels like it's been an hour, not 25 minutes, Red but we see here. Just in oh. onto the medic and catch the force wow. off. I think he hit the rocket. Wow, that's crazy. He was down to 4 HP. He didn't quite catch it on camera, but that force is huge for the side of Bomb Cop Buggy <laughs> as the soldiers destroy each other in the air. Is that a double? <laughs> That's a double. That counts. <laughs> that counts. Yeah, so Varmkov <laughs> can't 
start the cafe on the second. It was a bit of a back cap. Managed to get in through IT there. Um, and they have just got to deal with Osvaldo. Um, and Osvaldo desperately trying to go on to Tendum. Huge is oh, beeping no. his shots. <laughs> oh, he got lucky there. That I would be absolutely <laughs> fuming if I was Tendum. <laughs> Phoenix is up on the sniper to try and make something happen here. Try and get this kill onto Tendon, who does have this big advantage. Retro is just on last. This is just letting them know. What a menace. And uh, he should be out, maybe. He kind of loved one jump. He's fine. We're chilling. This is a big advantage here for Tendon, actually, walking in to uh, this last point. They should be quite soon, because he is sitting at 75%. Osvaldo has had time to set up an engineer sentry gun combo with the heavy up as well. Sniper abandoned, and it's unforgiven at 60%, as now Barmkov Boogie, they pop the Uber straight in through one, and we're pushing in, sentry gun shot down by the pistol of Omga and Impo. Sticky's come across, but not finding that much quite yet. It's a Rentra taken down in this push. Ooh. It's not going that well, but the pipes from Impo find the kill onto Blank. There's a lot of damage dealt, but no kills are being found. It's just two soldiers down for Barmkov. The space not quite found. Instead, it's an Adam holding on, with 50 seconds left on the round. Yeah, Varmkov came in really, really blind there and they just couldn't get to the players that they needed to. And of course that cap was neglected the entire time. So um, it was a fail push from them. They've got time for another Uber. Of course, Nandem quite contented with sitting pretty on that last point with their Uber advantage and uh, trying to deal with whatever Varmkov could throw at them. Nandem now banking on the golden cap for round number one. It would make no sense to push out. No, no. With 30 seconds left. And equal Ubers, what is basically... Even, they did have a 50 yard. They could have gone. I think if there were 20 minutes left on the round timer, Definitely. they probably should have. But instead, it's Tendon sending in Huji through one as the rest of his team is going to sit in Saw. It's a lot of damage dealt by him, but the Ubers pop so much later, managing to get the sentry gun kill. They do. But are they in at all? They're still stuck in this lobby area. It's a soldier taking a lot of damage, but a Rentry gets taken down by the heavy. Oh. The round cap time is coming in, but the scouts no. are doing so much work. And we run out of time. We go to the golden cap. We do what could have been, but we've got 10 more minutes potentially of action here uh, in this very first round. Um, that was that was nail biting, particularly towards the end. It was it was really hard to see which team was in a stronger position at any point throughout that entire game. Um, but yeah, that that was some exciting team fortress. That was good. We were kind of worried a little bit. I th I heard something about some uh, one zero scores between these two teams <laughs> yeah. a couple times, and that worried me a little bit. Thankfully, we got uh, we got a lot of action. I'd say some good mechanics on display as Definitely. well. This is the kind of late stage LAN where everyone's just kind of hitting everything and it's amazing. Yeah, everyone's adjusted to the five ping projectiles um, and they are just absolutely running riot. Yep, it is great. Now, we are going to a golden cap here on a process map number one. Remember, this game is a lower bracket game. It's a lower bracket round one, which means you lose this, you are out. Yep, B tournament. Start soon, guys. So uh, if you, you you better get a shift on. Um, but I can imagine. I, I, I mean, this this may be some insider info, but I did hear Nandem talking about the B tournament in the toilets. Not that I'm hiding in the ceiling uh, with a with a stethoscope to You're the like door or anything like that. You're like Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they just like doing a strat meeting down there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The toilets. Uh, for the three years guys don't know. The, the laboratories are downstairs in what I could only lovingly refer to as the back rooms. Yes. Which is a big open cellar kind of basement. With like six PCs set up and then three more. And you go down and it is Lupus and Nakari sitting there playing pugs. Yeah. Uh, and some Polish guys. <laughs> <laughs> but they're having fun. They're having fun. And we're having fun. We're having so much fun. Uh, but uh, it's uh, be interesting to see what the, uh, the, the whether there's going to be any sort of different approaches to this. Or they're just going to keep doing what they've been doing the entire time. Um, neither team is particularly happy with sitting around doing nothing, which is nice oh, to see. Yes. Um, it's very easy to play comfortable, play safe. Um, but yeah, these, these guys are, are keen to put on a show. We'll have to see what they do. What are you expecting here, Meerkat, for this final round of process? We're going to take it all the way. Who are we giving it to? I think, on process at least, I want to give it to Varmkov. I think they're more hungry. I think they want it more. I want to see a huge double bomb on this mid, and I want this golden cap to be done in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. It'll be fast. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, yeah, I think I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, just looking at these two rosters, I think the kind of control that Varmkov exhibited was a little bit more throughout the game. It feels like their mid-fights as well were a bit more confident. I think the mid-fight successes, as far as I remember, that Nandem did have were off the back of some really fast soldier plays out of, out of Agent and Blank. We're going to have to see if they're able to follow that up. I usually, in these Golden Cap process mids, 
they tend to be really, really slow. Yes. Where no one is willing to just instantly sack in the soldier straight away. But it looks like we are readying up, going live here. As we are straight in to the golden cap, we should be anyway, because the teams are kind of running to mid. Maybe I'm getting baited. I, I they're uh, they're readying and then they're unreadying and then they're ready. <laughs> they're trolling me. <laughs> we are now straight in to this golden cap here. Once again, round number one of the lower bracket of Poland. 2024 as Varmkov, Boogie, and Nandem are going all the way on map number one. Soldier bombs in, and we are talking about how teams usually take this slow, but instead the soldiers bomb in, exchange a lot of spam, and all get taken down quite low. It's a scout on top, bullying Age in there, and the bomb comes <gasps> in of a Rentry, sinks perfectly onto Unforgiven. They lose two players, it's Impo down as well. Ball aside of Varmkov, Boogie, and is Nandem taking the fight. They lose their medic, but they're winning. The 1v1's hugely dead as well. Omga, the only person left alive. Should get cleaned up. Manages to find one, but the nice rocket from Blank finishes him off. And Nandem take the mid fight. Yeah, Tendon stuck with a 15 second spawn there as well. But Unforgiven, <laughs> in spite of his much earlier spawn, has not managed to link up with any of his players here. So Uber advantage not quite as high as it could be. They're just on this mid fight now. And it looks like Varmkov are quite keen to sit pretty on last and wait for their spawners. This is the type of situation where now Varmkov are just kind of waiting for Nandem to get a push in and to, and to mess it up. Basically, the ball is entirely in Nandem's court right now because they do have, actually shockingly, a 20% advantage. Tendon not building super, super well. It's a 50% here for Unforgiven. If they are the cockiest player of all time, players of all time, they would not push this and it would be crazy. But they wouldn't find anything because Varmkov is on last. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even attempt to have, he, he did not even a peek onto second to see how far away uh, the last could pot could potentially be, but they are now uh, just starting the cap. You've got Huji uh, on the sniper and the engineer, of course, for fighting the defenses, but Na Nandem are coming straight in with the Uber charge. They're coming straight in and they actually get the kill onto the engineer. Setrigan taken down now as well. Soldiers bombing in across and the counter Uber comes out for Tendon and is unforgiven, immediately taken down. A lot of damage onto Luca Enderman as he falls, but Phoenix is still onto last, doing a lot of damage. The projectile players here, Finally cleaned up, it's just Agent left alive, oh. has to win the 1v3, <laughs> doesn't quite make it happen. The soldier of Sweeney and Impo, the demo, keep themselves in process here on map number one. They get back onto second, both medic dies. We're in the exact situation we were before in terms of the Ubers. Yeah, I mean, they got this, this may as well be part of the, 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 the main map that we've just witnessed, but... Uh, Man, Nandem uh, quite keen to, to, to retake this second point. They've got a lot of high ground, but Varmkov have a little bit of something to say about it, but the health not looking too hot. This is a scary health amount for the side of Varmkov, but it looks like they're kind of making it work. Getting that kill onto Luka Enderman means that Varmkov should be feeling themselves a little bit of a push through choke here. That demo man down means that there is no spam coming in through this process instead. They kind of just have to send the soldier blank forward, but not able to find that much. Agent as well has to jump away. Blank taken down. This is another pick. Varmkov can roll with this, and it looks like they are going straight in through sewers. Yuji fancies himself a little bit of a scout kill as well. Oswald Osvaldo to walk away. Yeah, they managed to get that second out. Blank is not going to get forward sports today. Retro dies to the trap at the top of IT. He's been beaking it every time. He got Sweeney up in the air, though. <laughs> Does not achieve an awful lot there. Nice little pipe there from Impo, denying the bomb out of Agent. And the Uber actually just comes out. <laughs> Luca Enderman barely saved, but it's a huge solo here in Choke. Soldier is behind in PC, has to be so careful here. He can be the difference maker as he comes in behind and he cleans up house for the side of Nandem. Everyone on mid <laughs> is falling, just a rentry alive. He flubs the bomb in Choke. <laughs> he just hits him with the taunt. <laughs> Missed the air shot, hit the taunt, player still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Two players up from Bob Boogie now. Um, and they're just looking to just waste a little bit of time, slow down Nandem so they can get some defenses going on this last point. No point at all even thinking about that second cap. This is 50% here for Unforgiven. I have to see Wonder of Nandem. They're posturing in through lobby already. It looks like they're kind of, they're scoping things out, I, I would assume. There's no way they're just pushing. Uh, with this kind of uh, ad advantage not bringing all the way up to 100%. Heavy up on top for the side of Armkov Boogie. There's an engineer setting up a sentry gun as well. It's unforgiven now, nears the magic number, and we're going to push in straight through far left. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're getting away with it pretty well. Managing to get that gun down. They're taking a decent amount of space, and the event Uber does eventually get popped there. They're trying to make their way over as far as possible. Tender definitely got no chance of getting Uber in this fight. 
That is a lot of damage dealt by Luca Enderman, and it's a kill onto Blank. However, Sweeney holds it, and the push has been completely deflected from Barmkov. Boogie, there's no one hiding up on top either. Instead, Nandem are back onto second, and now they're staring down the barrel of another 100% advantage here for Tendon. Yeah, Blank spawned now, but um, unfortunately not really able to get any pressure and try and get a force out from Tendon. So um, unfortunately losing that point basically for free. And Varmkov are going to look to charge into mid ASAP, a 35% advantage over Nandem. 35% advantage for Nandem here. Impo doesn't quite make the sticky jump work. And I think that just lets oh. Nandem come out instead. Walking out through PC. Going to have to watch out for the pipes. Still kind of making it happen. It's now Agent as well. Bombing in through Choke. Trying to find some kind of a kill. Pop is the Uber from Unforgiven. But that is a demo in the skybox. He can't find that much. Luka Enderman yes. wants another bomb though. And they find so many red members. Three up, four bomb. Got a boogie. And it's not quite enough. Phoenix. Still linked up with the medic. Does he quite hit the shot? Speaking no, of no. How is he alive? Phoenix. I mean, that, that, that. <laughs> they got cleaned up. How did they lose that fight? <laughs> I don't know. The damage came in, but the scouts were so split. They were focused on the players on point, um, and then all of that work that Luca did was completely, completely nullified there. So uh, they um, <laughs> are a little bit wasted. This is uh, this is uh, weird stuff for both sides. This is a very aggressive impo joke. Not quite with the rest of his team. Dodges the air shot, but doesn't dodge the ground. As he unfortunately gets taken down, it's traded for a kill onto Agent. And another one onto Osvaldo as well. Warmcup Boogie are looking. This is a way to open up the second point. But now they're cleaned up a little bit. Huge Sweeney not able to find that much. Instead, I feel like maybe Nandem, they're just walking right back in onto mid. Yeah, I mean, th th these guys are not happy sitting still. They're little wriggly worms, but... Uh Farmkov sort of sitting pretty around their Medic. They want their spawners to come in to help fortify uh, that fight with the players still respawning from Nandem um, as well um, and are just looking to see, feel them out and see how they want to approach his second cap. Kuji up on the Sniper once again, putting all his marbles on this class. He's been playing it for so long for this map so far. We're going to keep it going. Guys, the server just disappeared. The game crashed, I'm assume, I'm told. Hello, guys. Don't worry, guys. Nothing's happening in the game. I'm sure they'll still be going back and forth between the two seconds. Everything's fine. Maybe a little bit of last. Yeah, we're all good, guys. <laughs> Should we get a cup and string and I'll run to the room and stand yep. behind them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, be fine. It'll be fine. I saw a headshot from Huji onto Luca Enderman. We're actually still on the server on the caster computer. There's one kill onto the demo man here. As uh, Meerkat is going <laughs> to lean in for the cast of PC. But yeah, uh, yeah we are still on second right now. As Varmkov are using this demo kill for a bit of aggression. As the Ubers actually popped here for Unforgiven. It's two kills. Impo or enter it. Both going down. So just on second still. As the Uber counter Uber comes out for Varmkov Boogie. That's not finding any frags with it however. And they're just forced back to middle. There's a soldier behind <laughs> his blank. Finding the kill onto Sweeney. The rest <gasps> is just Hendon walking in oh, onto no. Choke. He gets taken down as Huji. And everyone falling now for the side of Varmkov Boogie. Guys, please tell me they're joining the server. <laughs> <laughs> and All we are right. back. Two minutes left. Three players down from Varmkov. They're going to have to run back to second. Uh, sorry, last. Pretty sharpish here as the onslaught of Nandem players uh, are charging their way forward. But no cap time started just yet. It's 60% Uber though for Unforgiven, already 75. There's a massive advantage here. And Omga up on this heavy. There's an NG up as well for Huji. But this is a massive pu uh, ad push for Nandem. They flubbed these a couple times. They have to make it work this time. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's really getting to the crunch. They need to get a little bit of info. They're trying to take the left-hand side for free again, but the Uber charge pops so, so early, and only just a tiny bit of cap time uh, achieved for them. And all oh, that. <laughs> but but <laughs> Tendon is dead. Blank takes down Tendon. That's no heals for the side of Armcov Boogie. And they're slowly bleeding players. There's only three up for them. Now, Unforgiven, still up, still with the Demo Man. It's just Yimpo left alive, and is such a low HP scout as Phoenix is on the point with the rest of Nandem. And it is them taking down a map number one against Varmkov Boogie and putting their first door or the first step in the door. Their first foot in the door. Yeah, and it is firmly there. It is there. It is there. And you use the foot to take the step into the door and it's 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 round two of the lower bracket. It is round two of the lower bracket. Yeah. I mean these guys it's, it's 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 map one, you know. It's they they both teams know that this can go to a golden cap on the next two maps, and they can come right down to the wire. I think these are two very very evenly matched teams. Um, but of course, coming in with that little bit of confidence um, on Nandem and knowing that, you know, you've you've got that map in hand, 
is, uh, is, is, is very good for the mental. I believe at some point we actually can pull up a graphic for what map we're playing next because we showed it incredibly briefly because we kind of had to go into game immediately. But you can see the map pick bands. We're actually going into a cough game That's on Bagel tasty. here. That is, a, that is I mean, pardon the pun, obviously being a food item, but, but that is going to be one hell of a map. Um, looking to see the scouts really come into their own. And the soldier bombs that we saw onto process, um, if, they, if they can show that little bit of individual flair, because there are a lot of good individual plays um, in that game, uh, we, could, we could be in for a quite an exciting match. Yeah, Bagel, I think it's quickly becoming, it's becoming a player favourite, and for me, honestly, it's also becoming a caster favourite as well. I really enjoy the map. I think it flows super well, and uh, I think it should be good. No, definitely, and it, it, it's nice to have a cough map that isn't just product. True. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's nice. I think it and it plays differently from 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 product as well. Product is a lot more scout centric compared to bagel, which which you know it's a bit more. In my head, it's a bit more. How good are you at combining your soldier bombs with your demo spam? Yes. A camo can kind of sit behind the point, shoot across, and then it's up to you to kind of coordinate your soldiers in a way that you know you can follow up and capitalize on the damage to let the scouts walk across because it is very hard as a scout player to walk across that midpoint yeah definitely i mean i think one problem we, that was, was quite obvious in that process game from varmkov is that the, the follow-up and the, and the t actual team fights were a little bit scrappy it was relying on the dm of the individuals and their ability to finish off their own frags um, rather than coordinating focus fire and trying to eliminate them um we, we can see uh, how the individuals logs? performed with the logs we do have some logs. Hugey with a huge log. That is pretty massive. I definitely am the first ever caster in TF2 to make that joke about Hugey's logs, by the way. Do you think so? I definitely. No one's ever made that joke before. <laughs> 39 frags across a golden cap and 30 minutes of gameplay. Not bad, not bad. Phoenix as well had a really good game. But this is kind of... I think most of these logs are kind of exemplary of the game we watched. Yes. It was a slower process game. And uh, that gives you, uh, yeah, these yeah. kind of stats. I mean, the priority was ultimately on, on keeping Tendon and Unforgiven alive. And Hugey and Phoenix were the guys that were really making that happen. Yep. Now, we are going to throw this now. I'm being told by production. We are throwing this to a short break. When we come back, we have map number two. It's going to be Bagel, Vamkov, Boogie versus Nandem. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, non-binary and pals, welcome back to Poland 2024. It is the lower bracket playoffs. Round one here between Varmkov, Boogie, and Nandem. We are straight into the game because some people didn't listen to the average probably. Unforgiven is dead already and so is Impo there. It is Tendon still alive, but he is far back. Nandem are taking the initial cap here. Yeah, I mean, this is all about the retake here. Tendon needs to really get in a good position, try and get his players around him nice and early, uh, and try and feel out Nandem, uh, and try and get them as far back as possible and, and get over that cap, because we are, ooh, that definitely doesn't help. Yeah, that is losing your demo and your soldier when you're trying to push out with his ad. It is really good delay for Nandem here. We are pausing the game now. Don't we all love it? Guys, welcome I, to land, boys. I, I mean, I thought they couldn't wait to, to, to perform and show us what they were up to, um, but but obviously not. We are just pausing. That's good. We're pausing. I thought we were doing some crazy stuff where <laughs> admins were yelling at them, so like, oh, we're going to pause and restart. No, nah, it's fine. We're, we're just uh, natty pausing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's quite early for a tacky pause, isn't it? It is someone's uh, cat's on fire. Yeah. Um, my dog died. The I have to run to the bed. Running. There is a there is a there is a weird mass of energy in my room. And I don't know what to do <laughs> I've, with it. I've missed countless scrims for that. Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, I, you know, when you like you're playing the game, but then you forget to turn off the oven yesterday. Mm -hmm. So now your kitchen's on fire, but yeah. you still have to win your. I mean, like, nine especially if it's golden cap. Yeah, <sighs> happens, happens, happens. Uh, so uh, yeah, we obviously have no idea why. But if you want the game to start, what you should do in Twitch chat is write at jmaxchill and then start the game. And then press enter in chat. And then, and then jmax will start the game again. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're here with Bagel. We're waiting for things <laughs> to uh, sort of get back up and running again. This lets us do the intro we weren't allowed to do. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, but, but then we can't throw it straight into the game. That's uh, No, I mean, we kind of can. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we are going on to Bagel. We were talking about it a little bit before. This is a bit more of a demo soldier combo sort of synergy test over process, which is a lot more scout focused. We saw it from the logs that game. Huji had a lot of frags and a lot of damage. 
did yep. a lot of work for his team. Didn't end up making out on top. Now they're going to have to win on a bagel if they want to keep their tournament run yeah, alive. I think I think in, on this map, he wants to make a meal out of blank. I think he wants to gobble him alive at every opportunity. He wa and he wants to keep Tendon uh, alive uh, as much as he possibly can and put them in the best position imaginable uh, for this second map. For this second map, we're going to have to see what they do. I'm really interested to see what happens. Because honestly, in my from what I saw in that first game, it's been a very even matchup between Unforgiven and and Impo as well. Both of them kind of trading backwards and forwards. I really like what I've seen from both of them. Honestly, the mechanics are super good, but it looks like we are now on pause. And we, and are, we back. are back in the game and everything's fine and back to normal. I think the timer is probably a little bit scuffed because we did have the pause. Should fix itself now. There we go. Yep. We're making up a 40 second deficit, uh, Varmkov. They really need to get themselves forward over that point. Of course, losing those two players um, when they had that uber advantage uh, really did not help them there. And Nandem uh, really in quite a strong position health wise to try and deny anything they might have up their sleeve. Yep, it is Arentra taking a little trade there on the flank in this house, but Sweeney bombing forwards there. Decent damage onto the soldier, but Huchi actually just gets taken down. It is no Uber popped still for Tendon, who has this ginormous advantage here, but Blank <laughs> and Agent are finding a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, on that flank, Roma versus Roma, you guys are just teasing each other. Yeah. You're tickling each other's balls <laughs> for 30 minutes, um, and these are two players that are very prepared to do that and completely neglect everything else imaginable in the game. There state. is nothing they want to do more than ball tickling. Unfortunately, Blank <laughs> Tickles a little bit too much, and that is Sweeney down for the side of Armcorp Boogie. The Uber situation has completely even itself out. Instead, it's a trade coming across here onto Huji. He wants to get that Uber flashed as well onto the demo. It's a scout running in behind. It's a kill onto Impo. Losing the demo now is Armcorp Boogie, but the follow up in Huji is hitting meat. Running forwards, Blank cleaned up as well. There is a Luca Eneman on point, but Huji just don't miss, man. And everyone on the side of Nandem is cleaned up. There's an Osvaldo though, and he's straight on to Tendon. Yeah, when you got five players alive, and the only person alive uh, on the enemy team is pursuing your medic, who is completely alone uh, on their side of the map. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's not too hot, but eventually does get picked off. But um, at quite a great expense, Tendon still not respawned for Varmkov. This is such a big advantage hit for Nandem. No heals on the side of Barmkov. They have just so much less health to work with, and you can see they are not willing to contest this point at all. It's actually just a kill onto Sweeney. Arentra as well tries to bump forward to contest a little bit, but he's just picked up. It's Agent falling for that frag, but it's good enough for them. Building up this advantage is 50% now for Unforgiven. Still doesn't have it quite yet, but it's looking nice for them. They have the point capped, and they're walking forwards. Yeah, it looks like Luca has a little bit of something to say about it. Those two scouts, Phoenix and Osvaldo, working really, really well in synergy there. But the cap does go the way of Varmkov. They got a 30-second deficit to make up there. And Nandem posturing up back once again to get onto that cap. It is Blank winning the trade once again with Sweeney on the flank. But Osvaldo falls. It's Tendon dying to the Uber popped out onto Phoenix. But now, three alive, both sides. Is still a fight, maybe a little bit huge. He fancies himself a 1v3. His scout friend is with him as well, Luca Enderman. Hitting some shots on the Omga, drops down to 3 HP. What's nothing more from that fight. Delaying the cap just a little bit, making sure everyone spawns. But once again, it's Unforgiven Dad. Yeah, and Tendons, they're his players, are not looking too healthy right now. It looks like they're going to have just about enough time before Nandem go in for this push. Um, but time is a ticking. It's not about capping the point, it's about holding on to it. and. Varmkov pushing right over, but Huge and Phoenix going down on Tendon. That's the worst time possible for that to happen. Cap going to go straight the other way for uh, Nandem here. Yeah, Nandem once again just fighting that medic kill. They don't have to use his uber advantage straight away. They can posture with it. It's Arentra bombing in, trying to reduce the uber advantage to zero. Oh, and he yes. gets the drop onto Unforgiven, despite the air shot heroics coming out from the soldier. He manages to clean up the medic. And we're sailing just fine. Varmkov Boogie still have that point capped. And it is meaning, it means that Arentra is going to spawn in ages. Next TF2 patch, he will spawn. <laughs> but we've got the uh, Varmkov now um, pushing themselves over cap. Lucas had a little bit of something to say about it, but unable to see any players um, on that side. The time is ticking down. They've got 37 seconds left. Nandem uh, still over a minute to go. And Blank manages to pick off Sweeney on that flank. And he is in behind, looking to cause a little bit of chaos with their one player advantage. Blank really finding the better of these 1v1s every single time is Sweeney. And Tendon and Huji cleaned up by the rest of Nandem. They get, regain control of the point. And once again, it's a huge advantage here for Unforgiven. Has to keep himself alive. This time, Arentria not behind, not able to bomb in onto Unforgiven. Should be getting that Uber charge up. 
wants to get a little bit creative, a little bit aggressive. Sweeney wants again to the house, but has to walk back. And now, point is under control for the side of Nandem. They hold all six players up. And they have an Uber charge to work with as well. Yeah, we're seeing some real heroics from these players. They've got so much waiting to do while they wait for their players to spawn, and then they're, they're getting caught out on their own, but we see the Uber charge coming out of Nandem. Ubercharge coming straight out, finding the kill onto Impo Tendon. Nowhere near any form of safety. <laughs> Arentra deleted in the sky. Omgar as well. It is a complete wipe with 13 seconds left. I think this might just be round number one for Nandem. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty ambitious to expect them to get any further ground farm cough here. But uh, Cap slowly ticking back. We're on zero. We have got a little bit of over. Oh, but no. It's sticky trap killing too. And that's not going to help anyone. Yeah, this Luca and the Mademo is doing so much work finding the two traps there on to the side of Armkov Boogie. That is a close round number one. The board for Nandem taking another little tiny baby step with their baby little small feet <laughs> in on to a lower bracket round number two. Yeah, they are so cute, but we are going very, very quickly into this second round of Bagel. It's going to be a battle of the demos once again. Uh, you see Yumpo and Luca really, really keen to get some early damage uh, across that point. Trading spam across the point. Are we now not quite any aggression coming out for either side? We are just spamming, waiting for an opportunity. You can see Blank bombing up onto the point. It is Agent in control of his side of house. Sweeney in a reverse. The other side as well. Blank is now posturing around this point. Once again, bombs onto his eyes to see... Maybe there's an angle to walk across, but Impo getting quite aggressive here. There's a lot of damage in onto this house. And Nandem have to be careful. Their soldier's health is dropping. And meanwhile, it's Mamkov Boogie to lose the first player. Arentra taken down. Sweeney as well, quite low. There is a scout staring him in the face. He's 19, 1 HP, and he's shot down by a rocket from blank. Now the follow-up damage from Agent can come out as well. It's a point captured for Nandem. Didn't get many player frags, but it's now it's just an uber trade. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just staring at the Invincible players and just hoping that their Uber doesn't expire first. Both teams in a slightly sticky position with Blank ready to follow up. They're being pinned from both sides and, but, and the Medic completely oh, caught out on his nah. own. <laughs> <laughs> you can't teach that. Nah, that is Bud-esque. That is Bud-esque. Um, in, in a way that uh, I hope you've seen the Rivka frag videos. <laughs> understand what I mean. Yeah. But uh, actually, no, it's a still frag video. Never mind, guys. I'm cultured. <laughs> this man breathes the game. But we see Farmkov now um, looking to sort of make their way over, try and do a little bit of something about Nandem, but they are ready for the fight. It is a soldier going down for Varmkov Boogie before the fight even happens. Big advantage for Unforgiven as well. Means that Varmkov Boogie are very much on the back foot. No Uber quite yet, but that's such an aggressive impo. And he does get taken down. It's straight for one soldier. But I think if you are Nandem, you're taking that any day of the week. There's a soldier in behind, but he can just get shut down by this scout right now. And there's no further aggression really coming out. Sweeney has to back off. Varmkov Boogie do get the cap, but this is going to delay the spawn of Yimpo. Doesn't actually help them that much. No, definitely not. It, it definitely slows down the pace of the game for them. Ubers are Ooh. about to equalize. The Ubers are about to equalize, but Osvaldo gets taken down the second his team captures the point, and that gives him a 20-second respawn that time. Hurts. Uber comes out from both teams. Neither team really finding anything. It's just Yuji running around on the point. He's got some players with him. Phoenix <laughs> is just staring, staring at him as well. Yeah. He's like, well, he doesn't want to shoot and make himself <laughs> known, does he? He's just, he's just making sure, just checking. <laughs> as uh, We're back where we started. Big pipe onto Huji. Luca Enderman down really low, but as Arentra cleaned up as well. And once again, now, Barmcup Fuki are taking this point cap. They're laying their spawns, and I think this just means that Nandem could come right back in, collapse. I mean, it feels like this point's changed hands quite a lot of times. But Varmkov only have 17 seconds. So I think that says everything you need to know. And Nandem, uh, they are just all over it here. Oh. And it looks like... Oh, oh Sweeney! Good night, my sweet prince. He falls. It's a bomb oh, from a wow. here on top of the Kibbe. He's 18. We're fine. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. But it does mean that the heels uh, do have to back up from Nandem for just a little bit. With two players down from Varmkov, um, I think that's, that's pretty easy business. This should be fine for the side of Varmkov. Boogie here. It is kind of crunch time. Honestly, the Uber's coming in now. Both sides, but Impo not connected in this Uber whatsoever. It's a scout chasing him. Surely the Uber will fade. No, because Unforgiven is running around with Phoenix. Now, the Uber, he just faces an Uber scout, but no one dies. Still, Huji manages to find Unforgiven, but he commits for so much. And instead, Luca Enderman comes across with the soldiers, cleans up house. Tendon 
Still alive, unforgiven, not spawning for another five seconds. This is advantage for Varmkov Boogie, but they don't have time to play for it. It's 16 seconds left on this cap. They just have to go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And when you've got players like Luca and you've got those two soldiers hiding oh. in main, it makes your job very, very challenging. And Asian oh, and Blank no very way. key to slow them down as best they can. They find both frags, but they're not on the point. Yep. The clock will just tick down, and that is another round. This time, That's Nandem look very nice on this map. I mean, one quite consistent problem from Varmkov is whenever there's a 6 versus 6 fight, they're always significantly lower in terms of health, and it's just rogering them every single time. They really need to uh, sort of deal with their health management and stop taking so much damage on those two flanks. It is looking good here for Nandem, and Varmkov Boogie, as you're saying, have some work to do to try and get back into Ooh. this game. They are now squarely on the backest of foots, trying to fight for their tournament lives. Early damage onto Unforgiven. Him and Tendon as well. It's a Rentry bombing in, super aggressive. Finds a lot of damage, but no kills. It's the rest of his team trying to make something happen out of this, but it's just Sweeney falling. Agent now in behind. One kill onto <laughs> Blank, but it might just be a kill onto Tendon instead. Huji, the only one up, and he's so far behind. Yeah, I mean, they, they, Killing that medic super late buys them so much time. You know, we, we keep seeing it. Every single time that medic goes down, you know, you can get 40 to a, a minute on that cap. Um, and that is exactly what Nendem are doing very, very consistently with these players getting in behind. And Yuji, he, he, he needs to die. He, he is not getting anywhere near run for. He is just kind of distracting, pulling Nandem back. Could allow his team to cap a little bit. Do get a little bit of a cap time, but not that much. Yeah, you, I think you're right. You're very much... Huji needed to die there. That was not much to be done. <laughs> As now the fight is coming across on the point here. Went to a lot of kills on the side of Nandem once again. Winning out on the DM fights and they find the kill onto Tendon. Oh, but the drop from Sweeney! The little sink bomb there at the end. He's going to die, but he just sinks up the two rockets. Gets that kill onto Unforgiven. But unfortunately, it's one Huji versus three players. And unfortunately, he doesn't fancy himself this time around. I mean, that must have been an absolutely terrifying tick of Team Fortress 2 for Unfall. Those two rockets slap bang in your face. But um, it's not really a bad uber disadvantage for them at all. Almost equal. Um, and they have still got control at that point. But Varmkov have got a little something to say about that. Varmkov now on the point. Gets it captured. For the second time this round, it's Agent in on the backside, and he just kind of dumps the Zarentra there with the superior positioning, but Blank is dead, and so is Osvaldo here. A lot of damage, people falling for Nandem. Everyone dying. Yeah, it's not great, especially when you're trying to get a bit of an advantage, trying to get a sort of a decent position, because once you lose all those players, you prevent, you present Varmkov with the opportunity to go with these aggressive holds um, and kill your players super duper early without any cap pressure from yourselves. Now for Nandem. They are far back. They're trying to walk through. These stickies from Impo are doing a lot of work. Denying the pipe as well. Onto Ooh. Blank is quite oh nice. And they find him too. Damage onto the scout. Osvaldo so low. Agent falling as well. And it looks like finally now Varmkov Boogie have a little bit of control over this point. Yeah, those Varmkov players, all six of them, they're in the same mindset. Nobody's trying to be a hero. They're all just trying to hold the chokes, try and be a team and get those frags. And it is really slowing Nandem down. But it is an equal uber situation. Equal oh. Ubers, but Phoenix <laughs> is just a dead. Agent as well, falling blank too. Nandem are trying to come out of this choke point and it's just not working for them. Arrentia is so far forward. Does he quite go for the medic instead? Mom, Cole, Boogie are just forward holding this so, so well. Shutting down any angle that Nandem are trying to take. Yeah, I suppose in, instead of trying to improve how you're fighting on mid, take the fight to their spawn instead. And they seem to be doing a pretty damn good job of it. They've made up a minute and a half in this one hold alone and they're still looking very, very strong. But the Uber popped from Unforgiven and Tendon holding onto it really, really tight. Tendon holding onto it so long that Impo actually manages to fall there. Phoenix takes him down. Now Omgr in the fight as well has this super split up. Bunch of 1v1s in a row, but Sweeney's in behind. Decent damage on to Unforgiven, oh, but he beeps no. the rockets. And Unforgiven lives now. It's three up for Varmkov because they have that point caps. They have no players. And I don't think they can contest this. They're trying to. But those who are, but they are managing to kill both of the soldiers uh, on the side of Varmkov. The cap does go their way, oh. but at what cost? Phoenix does go down and straight on the return cap is Varmkov. They are not looking too hot in Andem right now. Yeah, Nandem really kind of losing control of this game. Losing Phoenix there as well means that they're just lacking that scout, that leader in this combo, which means that Varmkov now, they have the control of the point right back. Tendon is 70% and Sweeney this time destroys Blank with two crisp rockets. Instead, we're back on mid. Even Ubers now, it's an Uber for Unforgiven, but they're not popping it quite yet. They get one kill. The scout onto the point is Huji. 
Yeah, again, Varmkov, all of these players super, super duper weak in these even fights. Yuba does come out of Unforgiven and Tendon, uh, but again, staring at the in invincible players, all you need to do is try and guarantee a little bit of position. Oh it looks like Varmkov to be the one to back up. Impo is 1 HP there on this side. It's a sticky kill onto Tendon, actually. Huchi falls, Impo pickaxe by Agent is cleaned up. But what can more can you do with your Varmkov? It's a single cleanup kill onto Osvaldo, but this is a fight that you take for Nandem any day. Now we're evening up the round timer as well. Yeah, definitely. And considering Nandem two rounds up, uh, going into this sort of ultimately what could be the last stages of this game, they are looking very, very strong. They've really found their feet back after a, a, a quite about two minutes. That was uh, good stuff from Varmkov. <laughs> but the momentum, it seems to have slipped on their fingers. Once again, it's Sweeney being caught out on the flank. Blank now looking to expose this weakness. And he's just in with two crisp rockets onto Tendon. Falls in a return. But you take that kill onto the Medic when yours is at 90, 100% charge. 30 seconds left for Varmkov. Arentia once again trying to be a hero onto the Medic of Unforgiven. is no zero points of damage yeah losing three players there that is a sack wave for them i suppose and um, but they don't get anything that they want whatsoever so unforgiven slowly ticking his health back up full uber on that cap 20 seconds left he needs to wait 15 seconds and then press mouse too you know they, this they could be sitting pretty nandem here agent does fall however in the beginning it's sweden it's sweeney traded there instead for the side of armkov they're down a soldier blank just bombing in Making his presence known, the point's actually almost capped, but look at the round time, it's six seconds, and the Uber just comes out. As yeah. you're saying, Hinden does not have, as Stead gets cleaned up, the rest of Barmkov now have to win this round without the presence of their medic, as they're trying their best. The point is almost capped, but the health is just not there. Huge Arentria, the only ones left. Arentria has to go in with the 1v5 of his life. He's bombing onto <laughs> the point, but he just gets shot up into the air, cleaned up, and that should be another round on the board. Nandem inching so close they take it all the way and that should be the scoreboard isn't lying to me it's a decent sweep the three nil that is a three zero both maps going the way of nandem they advance through they've got to run the gauntlet of the lower bracket now if they want to go though all the way however and unfortunately uh, for the other team uh, they are saying their goodbyes and uh, re-entering into that b tournament it was a very close game on process, went all the way to a golden cap, but Nandem just looked in control. Better synergy, and I really do feel like it was. I have to give it a lot of credit. I think Black played that super well. He did. You could see him catching out Sweeney all the time, and it made it really hard for Varmkov to get any sort of influence on that flank area. Yeah, I mean, Blank, you saw the dick-seeking rockets coming out there. He had, obviously, he's, he's adjusted very well to that five ping, and he was running right at that flank. Made it really, really, really hard um, for Varmkov to do anything that they could possibly want to do. Those players, as we kept pointing out, they were so weak. At the start of every single even team fight, um, they, they were just completely stuck. Yeah, commiserations to Varmkov. That means that they are eliminated from the tournament. But they put on a good show. They did. It was a good show, especially that process game. Definitely, that yeah. Nice. That was tasty. Commiserations to them. Nadim, of course, going to keep on fighting in the lower bracket. I don't know if we have a bracket graphic. Uh, no bracket, but I can give you logs. They can give me logs, but no bracket. So we're going to put up some logs. Let's take a look at these. Luca Enderman. Ooh, yeah. that, I mean, that, 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 yep. it looks like a country's flag, doesn't it? The, uh, the, the, <laughs> the ordering of those logs. Yep. I get, who do you think won this game? <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that, that's... Uh, that, that's pretty nice. I mean, you can see just uh, the medic deaths, yeah. Unforgiven's 4 to Tendon's 11. Yeah. You can see, like, we, again, we keep, we keep hammering on about the health. We keep hammering on about the health. I don't think that was necessarily Tendon's fault. I think it was down to the management and positioning, particularly yeah. of their soldiers, um, you know, picking up 16 and 20 deaths respectively, um, is, is not too fantastic, but a really good show. I mean, Luke Renderman, 21 to 4. He was absolutely on fire at the start of that process game, and he's pulled out of the bag again um, for this bagel map. And it is just so much easier to play a map like Bagel when you have a demo man outputting that amount of damage. It's so much easier to follow up and makes your play so much easier. Also as well, the control of the flanks means that it's so much easier exactly. to get in onto Tendon. And very, everything very just kind of collapses in on each other. And everything goes up in, in, you know, one big ball of like good versus bad TF2. And that's the beauty of the game. <laughs> and, and that is what we are seeing very much in these logs. The good, the bad, yeah. um, and we must be the ugly. Probably, yeah. <laughs> At least I am. <laughs> I think on that note, we should probably just take it to a break. I'm going to go drink a beer and cry. Yeah. Right. See you tomorrow. Peace. Sorry, there are more.